Today I will show you how you can open a collateralized debt position using the UASIS tool. Now, there's an important uh, change that happened with MakerDAO and this change is that they moved away from a single collateralized debt position. The big change is that now you can use a lot more assets instead of just Ethereum to collect to create a collateralized debt position. So if you're on the old interface cdp.makerdown.com, you can still use this to create SAI, the single collateralized debt position. But if you want to create the DAI token, multi-collateralized debt position, then you have to go over to Oasis. And let's click here, go to Oasis, very easy to use. This platform is a trading platform which allows you to lend and borrow and create these collateralized debt positions. Very beautiful interface, really like it. I like the, the, the this new interface that they're using. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can borrow DAI, create a collateralized debt position with Ethereum. Even though we could create the site, I wanna create some DAI. So you click on borrow DAI, and it will open the Oasis app. Now I'm gonna use the Trust Wallet to connect to this app. Very easy using the Wallet Connect, but you can use many different apps such as MetaMask, Trezor, Ledger Nano, or Coinbase Wallet. But I'll use the Wallet Connect. I'm pretty happy with that. And it's already connected as I connected before, but normally you'd see a QR code and you'd have to open it up with your um, mobile phone wallet. The Trust Wallet is the one I'm using. And here you can see on the right side the amount of DAI that I have, the Ethereum that is on my wallet. I currently have 1.35 Ethereum. And here you've got some other information such as a price and, and system info and the collateralization ratio. What I can do here is I can open my first vault to start generating DAI. So I can click on Get Started. And I would like to use Ethereum, ETH A as collateral type, the stability fee is 8%, liquidation ratio is 150%, and the liquidation fee is 13%. I've got 1.349 ETH, so I'll select ETH A, that's the only one I can use at the moment. And I can click on continue. And I'll have to set up my vault. So this is a one time thing that I have to do. And I also have to pay a gas fee to be able to do that. So I'm going to take one for the team and do this and show you how it's done. I can click on set up. And it's waiting for a confirmation. I'll have to open up my trust wallet. All right, so I've had a few problems with the waiting for confirmation issue. It was uh, for a long time, it was on zero out of 10. If you've got the same issue, what I would recommend that you do is in your browser, um, I'm using Chrome. It might be different if you're using Firefox. Uh, you need to delete the cookies for the website and reconnect using your wallet. I had the problem that my wallet was connected, but somehow the confirmation didn't go through and it was like for a few minutes or still staying on zero out of 10. So what I did is deleted the cookies, tried the whole process that I just showed you again with the setup vault and now it's working. It's showing me two out of 10 confirmation. So if you've got this issue, make sure you disable your ad broker and delete the cookies and then you should be good to go. So it will take maybe a few minutes until this is done and I'll get back to you as soon as it's done. As you can see, it's confirmed with a 10 transaction. That's awesome. The, so you don't have to change anything here, but you can now select continue. In the first input field, you can select how much Ethereum you would like to lock in your vault and the amount of ETH you lock up determines of how much DAI you can generate. If I put one Ethereum, then I can um, generate 146.9 DAI. That's the maximum amount I can generate, but you do not want to remove so much DAI since you would like to have a much higher collateralization ratio than 150%. So if I would remove um, 100 DAI, that would be 
I could still remove 100th die, but that would put my vault at risk of liquidation since the collateralization ratio is only 220%. Even though it's a lot higher than 150%, um, should the price drop below $150, then my position would be liquidated. Now let's say I remove just 80 die or I generate just 80 die, then my collateralization ratio would be 275% and that means that the liquidation price is at $120, which is a lot safer for the long term. Even though it's possible that the price of Ethereum drops down to $120, it's a lot less likely than it drops down to $160. So let's continue with creating a vault, but I don't want to use this amount. I will add 0.3 ETH to this vault, and I'd like to generate 25 DAI from this vault. My collateralization ratio is 264%, and my liquidation price is $125. The stability fee is 8%, which has to be paid afterwards in DAI or Maker token. So I'm happy with this. I will click on continue to deposit this ETH and generate 25 DAI. When I click on confirm, um, here I've got all the information. What I'm doing, I'm depositing 0.3 ETH. I'm generating 25 DAI. Collateralization ratio is 264%, which is very good. Liquidation ratio is 150%. Should the price of ETH drop below $125, then my vol is at risk of liquidation and this 0.3 ETH that I deposited will be used to cover the collateralized debt position. The liquidation fee is 13% should that happen and the stability fee for generating the die is 8%. That's how much I have to pay to be able to borrow and generate this die. If I'm happy with this, I can click on I have read the terms of service and I understand the stability fee is not fixed and is likely to change over time. If the liquidity pool is low and there's not a lot of um, funds available to borrow, then the liquidity fee can go a lot higher than it is now. So it could go maybe to 19%. It's happened before and it can happen again. And this is to increase people that are borrowing a die to close the position so that the liquidity pool gets a lot more funds. Now let's open the vault. I'm happy with this. And my vault is being created. The estimated time is around 20 seconds and I can safely leave this page. I can click on view transaction details to see my transaction on etherscan.io. So the status is already a success. One block confirmation and my tokens have been transferred. So 0.3 ETH has been transferred to wrapped Ethereum and I have generated 25 DAI stablecoin. And this DAI can then be used to either buy back some Ethereum, and that would mean that I'm going in a long position. So I've got a certain amount of Ethereum, I lock it up and I can buy again a certain amount of Ethereum as long as the collateralization ratio is correct. And that means in the end, I've got a lot more Ethereum than I started with. The upside of that is that should the prices of Ethereum rise a lot higher in the future, then I will benefit from the price increase. And the downside is should the price go down below the collateralization ratio um, that was defined in the contract. So the, for my contract, that was $125. Should the price of ETH go below that, then there's a chance of my vault being liquidated. So that's the risk that you have to be aware of. Now, if I go back to the Wasis app, I can exit and I've got a very beautiful interface with my ETH A vault number 6244. I can see the price of the liquidation price on the top right. So it's 125 US dollars, the liquidation penalty, the collateralization ratio, the outstanding die debt that I can pay back and available to generate. This is how much I can still get. In the middle where you've got the ETH that was locked up, uh, 0.3 ETH, which is valued at $66. Available to withdraw is, that's how much I can still withdraw. And the outstanding debt. At the bottom, you've got the vault history. I'd like to close this vault, so I have to pay back my die. Now, if I set max, 
I can see I don't have enough die to pay back since um, during the time that I had this vault open I have to pay a little bit more than 25 it's like 25.4051 die so all I have to do is make sure that I have a little bit more die available to pay back this debt I'll head over to total I'll connect with the swap it's a very easy way to swap cryptocurrency from one cryptocurrency to the other and I'll buy uh, and an additional two die to be able to co cl to be able to close my uh, collateralized debt position vault on Wesis. I'll continue with the wallet connect. All right, so I'm on the exchange now. I can do this really fast. I'll use ETH and I'll trade that for die. I would like to do um, 0 0.01. Let's see how much that is. That's 2.2 die, that's fine. Um, find the best rate. It goes really fast. I really enjoy the total um, exchange. And it is very good. The rate is pretty good. It's um, 0, 0.0 worse than the market rate, which is awesome. And I'll just click on swap and that happens instantly. I have to confirm the transaction on the trust wallet. And then it's done your transaction ID has started and it should happen really fast this uh, transaction of tokens and then what I can do it's done finished I can go back to the Wazis app and here I'll have to log in again since you can only log into uh, certain uh, dApps one by one now if I click here I connect to wallet connect and I can use the QR code scanner to scan this QR code and I'm already connected. Now what I can do is I can pay the die that I've got, set max. And that's, you see 25 and something you have to pay back. I can click on payback. So you have to make sure that you've got a bit more die uh, available on your wallet than the die debt that you took out of the collateralized debt position. So you can click on payback and this will be paid back. The transaction is running. It will take maybe a few seconds to a minute to go through and as soon as that's done it's paid back. So now collateralization is zero. I can withdraw the ether that I added to the vault as collateralization so I can withdraw withdraw the set amount set amount of ether set max amount of ether and that's 0 0.3 can withdraw that click on withdraw and the transaction is going through else so as with that and in the vault history you see the transactions that I've just done and that's it I've withdrawn all and that's it I've withdrawn all the ether that I had added as a collateral and I can come back here and leave this uh, vault open as it is. And if I want to um, create a new collateralized debt position, I can just come back to the Oasis app and deposit some Ether and generate some DAI to be able to reinvest in Ethereum or do other things with it. So that was it for this video. Hope you found it useful. It's a little bit complicated at the beginning, but I hope with these videos that you um, become more familiar with um, decentralized finance applications and you understand the benefits of it so i'll catch you in the next video if you've got any questions uh, write them down in the comments below i'll gladly answer them and yeah catch you in the next one bye bye